Hello and welcome back to my Magic 6, the Man Eat of Heaven. And we're in Kriegsfire, so I just got all our spells up and got everything healed. And since we got the level increase fountain or well again, let's go and get rid of the energy drinks once more. Do our usual thing. Now we should be even more powerful okay. because we got more artifacts. Yep. And you have your servers. Okay! Hey! Yep, that melted them. Easy. that they did not immediately die. Alright, we got him! Oh no, they did. We got a ring, cloak, two hand axe. Not much. Ah. Plus ring. Oh. A cloak of electricity resistance. Aha. Uh -huh. A grand polax. Well, they're not terribly interesting. But let's go back to Tomb of Arn. And in fact, what, do we have torchlight? No, we don't. This is not a great place to put a beacon because we need to walk all the way back. We got rid of everything here. Actually, yeah, what we went to is out here. Yeah, out here and then to here. Yeah, I guess it's a bit faster to go like this rather than to drop down here and then walk all the way around. Fine, fine. Let's just walk. Generally, my impression of Tomb of Varn, it's nothing really that special. Like, all the enemies are not really that difficult to deal with. It's just that it's huge and there's a lot of enemies. But they're also kind of in a typical Mind Magic 6 style, that there's a lot of the same type of enemy and it's not very exciting in a way. Like, if we can defeat five of these, I'm pretty sure we can defeat a hundred of them. It's just going to take a while. Got all the way here. Oh. Oh, this is just so you can get out if you drop down. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing else here. We just need to go up here. And how about jump? This way and we get to this door. There's the water temple, and we have the water temple key. Hi 
Hi there, Guardian of Horn. Uh, you're red. That makes you very annoying. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess swarms it is. Yes. It does make me wonder though, what happens if I use sparks? Nothing. Good to know. Yeah, I could use... I could actually use... Uh, a flat cannon. Now there's not a reason not to. That was an interesting animation. <laughs> that well. And you can use Easy enough. We're following the love hand walls, so let's go in here. Oh. Hi there. You are not an entire. Single guardian of Varn. Eh. That works. All right. Uh oh. Well, there's no way that I can avoid this damage. Oh, hey, a crystal skull. Single piece of bluish crystal carved into the shape of a human skull. Oh! Ultimate boost of charm. Oh! Very leather of magic. That's a lot of spell points. Huh. Navigator's code. Hmm. When the landing commences, navigator, take this code scroll to the center control table and speak activator key Ulus when prompted. Of course, that's Sulu. Backwards. Oh! The real ring of the eclipse. Spell points are generally spell points over time. This might be good. And the Biblioteca Chesky. That's library in much of any language except English. <laughs> um, well, what do we have? Defense plus only three. Uh, uh, hmm, hmm. Well. It seems that AC is kind of more valuable than SP, so I will keep it as is. 
Does anyone want something that gives plus 10 spell points and regenerates spell points over time? I have anything of mana. Oh. Let's look. 96. So I think this is at least a good replacement for this one. Now, is there any reason to have luck and regenerate spell points over time? Does this stack? It does stack, okay. Minus plus nine, yeah. Turn it hit points. Ah, oh, this one gives the spell points. And this gives the spell points. Uh. The thing is that plus 9 hit points is also not great. I guess Riker could use some luck, but... Oh yeah, well, that will make it so that I can get rid of the spoiler belt. So I guess it will be useful in the long run. Okay. Small key. No, it looks like we melted the other key to get into this place. Alright, well, we got this done. What next? Well, we keep following the left hand wall. Let's not forget to put a Lloyd's Beacon somewhere, so that I don't need to walk all the way back. Mm, do I need to go through here, or is there a passageway? There's a passageway. Just continue walking here, following the left hand wall. Perhaps cut corners somewhere. Climb this pyramid. Oh. Hey, there's pylons. Hi there, G. Uh, you are not immune to blood. So we're following this wall, and it goes all the way around there, and the place it ends in is here. In fact, this is where we were before, overlooking this place. And this place is open. That is not what I wanted to do. Just randomly pressing things. So, where are we now? Probably nowhere useful. No, we are going that way where we've just been to. Ah, uh, that's a waste of time. So, let's get out of here. And get back in. That's faster. 
We need to go. Come on. Any pictures? You are very nice for the fire use. stuck in a loop if we follow the left hand wall. Well, in that case, let's just pretend that we're following it here. crown. I don't need to cast awaken. Captain's code. Hmm. When the landing commences, Captain, take this code scroll to the central control chamber and speak activator key Crick when prompted. All of the senior officers must present their code scrolls and keys to open the way. Yours is the last key in the sequence. Indeed, it's Kirk. And we got a flame door key. Majestic Chamber of Earth. Endurance, armor, and hit points. That's not bad. Crystal Skull. Okay. Flame door. Hmm. I have this. That's, uh... That's useful, I guess. Uh, one of Earth, which is literally what we have. Okay. Go for the second one, I guess. And that seems like it's it. Oh. So this place. Hmm. No, that was easy. Chainmail. Yes. Well, Chainmail of cold resistance. And this looks like a war room. Hmm. 
I expect the stable to go down and us being able to get inside to talk to a certain elusive man. Yeah, so I guess that picture door is there so that you can get up even if you don't have jump or something. I'm not sure why you wouldn't have jump, but hey. And let's continue following the left hand wall. Shortcut. And this goes to the place. With radiation. Well, we don't need to be here. Actually, we have the biblioteca key. So, in fact, this is useful. Warp right back there. <sighs> oh! We're still really bad at opening things, though. And we got a Varn Chesky. And the Doctor's Code. Hmm. Of course, the activator key is Joachim. Or McCoy. Oh! Okay, one. <laughs> Another one. Oh! Oh, Igrain, artifact. Lord Solomon Stone had this ring commissioned during his tenure as High Priest of the Path in 1018. It gives a huge boost to a user's ability in clerical magic, so has access to a good deal of magical energy. 25 spell points and of body minus spirit magic. Hmm, body, mind, and spirit magic. Nobody really cares about mind magic. Beverly is the expert of spirit magic, but I'm not sure if that's helpful. So I think I will give this to Picard so he can heal better. Defense, recovery, speed. Might plus 13, eh. So let's see, how much of a difference does speed make? 1 AC and 36 versus 35. Recovery, 39 versus 35. So, recovery is better than speed. I think might is probably the most important because it doesn't even do anything. Um, yes, let's give a grain to the card. Now we can heal better. Excellent. Right now, I believe we have all the codes, and we can do something about it. So have Chesky. Mm. I think the fastest way is to go outside and follow the right-hand wall, because we got to this place right after we got to the central chamber with the radiation. So, let's see, how much do we... Here? Yeah, that's quite a lot. There's something up there. Maybe it's the genie. Probably we don't need to care. Yes. 
I believe this is it. No. How do we do this? We need to key something. Ah, of course the skulls. Only the one bearing the key may speak the code. Picture, picture. <gasps> picture, picture. Well, a floor must be key at last. What is the navigator's code? Um, the navigator is Sulu. Mm. Good. Oh. Now, what is the doctor's code? It's McCoy. Is the first mate's code. That's the first officer, and that's Spock. Where's the engineer's code? It's Scotty. No. Yeah, is that it? Where's the communication officer's code? Uhura. So it's Aruhu. And. Oh! This seems like the Well of Horn. That's just dumping us out. Now, the Well of Lorne is that thing. What is the captain's code? It's Kirk. The water sparks. Oh dear. Side. This looks very sci-fi. Now we're on the other side of this tablet. Control room entry. Doesn't seem like there's anything. Main power failed. Emergency power on. Main power restored. Well, that looks like a Scar Mothership. Patrol units! Welcome to the land of Before Silence, or Land of the Ancients. I don't know how these work. Apparently, they are susceptible to swarms. Acceptable to poison, that makes sense. Seems to be susceptible to fire. Let's check it. Yes. Shoot lasers. Let's set a little lightning because. Yes, they are very simple to lightning. Good. No. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. More fireballs. Main power failed, emergency power on. Control units are disabled. Oh, the door has opened. Well, let's continue following the left hand wall. Oh, it's an enforcer unit. How 
how do you like fire? Not very much, good. How do you like Shrem? Also not very much, but they just get destroyed. They're like the Geth Cannons. Not very nice. No, oh, green. That might be all the it's... There's a chest. It's uh doesn't look that sci-fi. And here we go, the control cube. Perfectly smooth metallic cube. Oh! Also scattering. So we got it. We got everything here. So we got it from the control panel here, and that means that we can go back. Freehaven. Well, actually, not this. No portal to Freehaven. And let's see what we get out of this. Yes, so it's 428. I hope that I can still sell things. Let's just save, just in case. Hey, it's VI, the Virtual Intelligence. <laughs> Let's get to the Oracle. Oh. Um. Well. I guess we bugged this thing out. <laughs> Yes, we are done with the Tome of Barn. What will the Oracle tell us now? Indeed, we can see that this is also using the same textures. Uh... Um... Hum? Where is the oracle? I've been expecting you. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Control center. You now have access to the control center. Simply ask to be transported and I will oblige. One warning, however. The guardians of the control center are no longer under my control. So please exercise caution while visiting the center. Kriegen. As I said, the Kriegen are resistant to most of the weapons available in Enroth, but not all. To rid the world of them, you will need to find where their vessel crashed and destroy the main reactor. The only problem is that the resulting explosions from the reactor will destroy this planet. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. You will need a powerful spell to prevent the explosion from damaging the planet. But no spell like that exists in the world today. The only person I can think of that would know of such a spell is Archibald, but he is no condition to teach you. To make matters worse, the reactor cannot be harmed by normal weapons or spells. You will need the ancient weapons in the control center to destroy the reactor. Hmm. Oracle, are you sure that Archibald hasn't tampered with your circuitry? But, okay, well, the nice thing about it is that Archibald is not yet dead. As you may recall, Archibald has been turned to stone by Roland and then put, put in the library, so at least that's something. But it's good to know. And yes, so we need to find the vessel of the Kriegen and destroy the main reactor. Ancients. Wow. They actually have special <laughs> logic handling for in case you have such a long text that the regular font does not work. Though my memory has been damaged by Archibald. Told you! I can still remember the danger that our ancient enemy, the Kriegen, posed to our world. 
The Kriegen first appeared roughly 1,500 years ago, attacking outlying colonies and stealing their resources. It was thought at the time they simply needed certain minerals and could be reasoned with, but this was not the case. Their life cycle forces them to breed until the world cannot support their numbers. Then they send ships off to other worlds to renew the cycle. Their attacks against the Empire of the Ancients disrupted the network of shipping and communications that held us all together, causing the silence that marks the first year of our modern calendar. Without support from the home worlds, our fledgling technology failed, bringing us to this sorry state. I would help rebuild our technology, but I seem to have become a religious figure in the minds of many people and very few visit me or understand what I have to offer. Perhaps this Kriegen crisis we face will bring people to their senses, as long as we survive it. Yes, indeed, so the Kriegen are very much aliens that attacked the ancients and cut off their supply routes and communication lines, causing the silence and all of the technology that the ancients left behind are still in this world, but nobody knows anymore how to produce it, because only the ancients managed to produce it back then. And... yeah, apparently the Kriegen first appeared 1,500 years ago. This is... not so long... ago in comparison since the current year is 1000 something so that means that it took the Kriegen just a few hundred years to cut off Enroth from the Empire of the Ancients that's quite interesting and indeed the life cycle of the Kriegen is that they will just breed until a planet cannot support them and then they will go to other planets so in a way they are kind of like viruses or something just on a planetary scale. That is very interesting indeed. But that will be all for now, and next time we will see how to get to... Okay, so this line is the Oracle. I've been expecting you. We'll see what we can find in the control center. See you then. Later.